Markets versus supermarkets is the subject of today's Food for Thought. Hi, my name is Jody Bunting and welcome to today's Daily Slim Tip, also known as the Food for Thought. Now, the last few days, I have been going around a few local markets, including today, the Bakewell Monday Market. Uh, yesterday, the Warsaw uh, Bescott Market. Uh, and last week, I popped into the old Eagle Centre Derby Market. Um, and as you know, the last few weeks, I've been looking for British produce. Not only because that these British strawberries smell amazing and taste great. But also, if you're trying to get nutrient-rich fruit and vegetables, it's so important that local produce is containing a lot more nutrients than those that have been shipped abroad and generally picked before they are filled with nutrients. So, what have I found out over the last few weeks? First of all, uh, a lot of markets don't uh, brand up. Um, yes. So the Derby Eagle Centre Market, the fruit and veg there, I must say they were great. Everything was from Spain, uh, but it did clearly state where it was from. So um, if you're looking for the origin, um, it is good. However, if you are trying to buy British, you know, the supermarkets have really got one over on the markets. And obviously, most market stores do buy it from the same wholesalers. Uh, and therefore, I don't know where the supermarkets are getting it from. Obviously, they have got British contacts and they can guarantee a certain amount of uh, products and stuff. Uh, but also price, you, you often think that markets are so much cheaper than the supermarkets, but... I really don't believe they are guys having shopped around and looked at all the different products. Anyway, today after we've been to the Bakewell market, I popped into Waitrose in Utoxta, uh, and these are the few products that I bought today. Uh, these are some strawberries. Uh, you can see they're the sweet and juicy, uh, grown by Angus in Hertfordshire. <laughs> I do like it when they, they give the farmer's name. And again, so easy to spot because it has got that British flag on there and clearly written uh, British there. And I think they were only 150 for 400 grams. So that was a real steal. Uh, my next British product... Uh, were these mushrooms. Again, you can clearly see that on there. They are from, oh, it just says UK. Uh, my next one is, of course, carrots. Uh, and these were the essential range as well. Um, these are actually from Scotland. Um, but again, a lot of the British products, especially this time of year, they're not in the essential range. They are in the more expensive range. So this is one of the products which are classed as essential. Oh, I've just dropped my carrots. Um, and then also I picked up some essential, uh, a little less than perfect. So you know the um, Morrisons are famous for doing the wonky range. Uh, at Waitrose, they call it a little less than perfect. And these are the apples, which I think were £1.70. Um, but they're um, British and there is a lot of them. They're from Kent. And then the other thing that I bought as well from Waitrose, because you can't get this from Aldi, and that is some chemical-free uh, toothpaste, which is this one for those of you looking out for it. So let me know what you think, guys. What do you think about your local... Maybe you've got a local greengrocer who grows their own stuff. Obviously, that will be ideal. If you know somebody who's got an allotment that uh, provides things, then that is perfect. Uh, but generally, these big um, stalls in markets are basically just buying stuff as cheap as they can because obviously they're trying to compete price-wise with the supermarkets. Uh, but to be honest with you, the supermarkets are really winning on quality and price from my experience. But if I'm wrong, please let me know, guys, uh, if you do see any British product, which is a good price. In fact, I don't care about the price. If you see any good British products, that's what we're going for, guys. We're looking for quality. Uh, then leave us a comment. Tell us where you have found it. But for that, that's it from me for now. I will see you again in the morning for a workout at 8 a.m. Over and out.